When utilizing SOLIDWORKS drawing templates with predefined views, there currently exists a slight limitation. As you can see in the example before you, we have a drawing template with predefined views on multiple sheets. Here on sheet one, all of our views have populated as expected. However, on sheet two, our predefined view remains empty, forcing us to manually navigate through the view properties to insert a model. In this video, we'll take a look at how we can create a macro to overcome this limitation. To get started, let's first add the macro tab. This will give us access to the record macro button, as well as some additional functionality on the macro side. The next step is to record a macro. Select the record macro button, which will begin recording the code for each and every click we make. Listing my click sequence, I began with file, make drawing from part, selected the drawing template with predefined views and hit OK. Now inside of the drawing environment, I'll navigate through each sheet with predefined views, select zoom to fit, select a view, deselect the view, and finally navigate back to the sheet which I want to be my active sheet when the drawing opens. There I'll hit zoom to fit, and now I'll stop the macro recording. When we stop the recording, we're prompted to save the macro file. Let's give it a name and hit save. With the macro saved, let's exit the drawing and return to the part environment. Here we're ready to move to the next step, which is to add a new macro button. To add the macro button, simply right click on the command manager, select customize, navigate over to the commands tab, macro, and here we have the new macro button. Drag and drop that into your desired location. Assign a macro. Let's go ahead and assign the macro that we've just created. And then before hitting OK, we can change things like the icon, the tooltip, and the prompt. When all is satisfactory, select OK. To recap our progress thus far, we've recorded a macro and assigned it to this macro button. As you'll see in a few moments, when I execute the code by selecting the new macro button, our drawing template with the predefined views opens. However, none of our predefined views are populating. That's OK. This is to be expected. We're going to need to go ahead and edit our macro. Let's open it up and review some of the code. If this is your first time modifying code or even seeing the Visual Basics interface, have no fear. All we have to do is add four simple lines of code as you see here. We'll begin with the file path. File path equals part.getPathName. Insert this line above the comment for new document. This is going to store the file name and directory of our active part. The next three lines of code are going to be important to our drawing environment. If need be, go ahead and pause the video so that you can copy it down. Once you've copied the code, we're going to want to insert it under our first comment for zoom to fit. This is our first active drawing sheet, which in the case of this example would be sheet one. Taking a moment to quickly describe what these lines of code will do, the first two lines will set variables for our SOLIDWORKS drawing document and the third line will populate all predefined views with the model stored in our file path that we established earlier. The final step is to copy the last line of code which populates predefined views and paste that under any zoom to fit comment for remaining sheets with predefined views. Here we have sheet two. And in this last zoom to fit, the code is simply navigating back to the specified drawing sheet that we want active when the drawing opens. Our final step is to go ahead and test the macro. Execute the command, and what you should see is that all predefined views on every sheet have been successfully populated.